A few of you have been asking lately how to link two R7008 SB receivers to your 18MZ so that you can have 16 proportional PWM channels. So let's go over how to do that. First thing we need to do, need to do is put each receiver in the correct mode. We need the first receiver to respond to channels 1 through 8 and the second receiver to respond to channels 1 through 9. So looking at the chart that's included both in your 18MZ manual and the R7008 manual, you can see that the first receiver needs to be in mode A and the second receiver needs to be in mode C. So to do this, we push down and hold the link button and turn on the receiver. You'll see the light begins to blink and then when we let that go, it blinks to tell us what mode or the ability to change the mode. So here we get one flash and that would be mode A. If we push it again, it'll flash twice and that would be mode B. We push it again, we get mode C, three flashes. And if we push it again, we should get four flashes, which we do. All right, this receiver we want to be in mode A, so we want it to be flashing one time. So I'm going to go ahead and push the button one more time, get back to that first one. Now to confirm that, I'm going to push and hold down the button. When that starts flashing red-green, I can let it go, and then I can power off the receiver, and it should be locked into that mode. I'll turn that off. Okay, so next we're going to link our second receiver, and again we want this to go to mode C from the chart, which will have it respond to channels 9 through 16. So we do it exactly the same way. We hold down the little link mode button while we turn it on. And didn't get it that time. Let's try that again. It flashes. All right, it's flashing one time. So I'm going to push this button again. To go, and we're getting over to so it's flashing three times is what we're looking for. There's two. There's three. Hold the button down to confirm. Wait for that red-green flash let go, it's all locked in, and now we power off. Now let's move over to see how we do it on the transmitter. Okay, so on the transmitter side of things, we're going to now go through the process for linking our two different receivers to the transmitter. We're going to go into system type, hit the, simply hitting this little icon right here. We want it to be in fast EST 18 channel mode. Now coming over here, we want to select dual receivers. Hit dual, confirm yes. Next thing I'm going to do is to link the first receiver. I'm going to hit the link button. I'm going to start the linking process on the transmitter and then turn on the receiver. As soon as it establishes a link, it lets you know. You can close it. Next we're going to move over to the second receiver and do the same thing. Okay, we've got our second receiver up here now. I'm going to hit link on secondary receiver. Start the linking process. Turn on the receiver. Establish the link. So it's all set now as well. So now we have both of them linked. Now to confirm that we've got everything working right, I'm going to get both receivers powered up and we'll check channel 1 on uh, the first receiver and we'll just go ahead and check channel, say channel 15, which I've assigned to the right hand slider on the secondary receiver. Okay, so now I've got both receivers hooked up. I've got them actually just uh, wired into a single battery pack. Two receiver, two servos here so you can see what's going on. Let's, uh, let's look at a servo monitor menu just so we can see. Receivers are off now, so we're going to be looking at channel 1 ailerons and then channel 15 over here. I've got assigned to uh, the right hand slider. All right, let's power up. Both receivers are linked up. Channel 1 ailerons responding to the three servos responding to it. Channel 15 on the slider over here, and you can see that's responding there. So that's all there is to uh, linking two receivers up to your 18MZ.